Is the way that you are looking for that next shot holding you back? Often as photographers would go out on the hunt, hungry for the next shot, searching aimlessly, rushing to the known great spots in order to tick it off the list. You find yourself pushed and rushed and thinking about the future instead of being in the moment. The like-based social media that rewards you for posting recognisable and quick fix validations from likes and followers stops you from ever going it deeper into your craft. Instead, the next time you go out, turn your phone off, forget about social media and what will work for other people in order to pop you a like. Instead, go out with the intention, not only for a photo initially, but to find a place for you to immerse yourself within. Listen to the sounds of the water running through the river and the bird tweeting two trees away from you. Breathe in and enjoy the sensations of clean countryside air entering your lungs on this crisp and cold morning. Look at how the light and how it casts shadows, its rays cutting through the mist, generating leading lines from you to as far as you can see. Feel that breeze as it strengthens and weakens. Then once you have entered this heightened state of awareness, you are now ready. Stay in this moment for as long or as little as you want. You aren't in a hurry to chase anything, for being in the present moment is the most joyous of things, and nothing else exists but the now. All of a sudden, your mind has stopped talking for a little while now and the solace and peace that you've found from this has put you in a relaxed but hyper aware state, which is perfect for the next step. Now, allow your thoughts to gently return. Have you found anything in your scene that astounds you? No? That is okay. Grab your things and walk a little further. This time your mind is much quieter. That consuming inner chatter has slowed down its fast pace in your head. That is constantly distracting you. If you practice this, not only will you learn the benefits of meditation, but meditation without sitting down and being still in the traditional sense. You now have a tool for self-care, a way to quieten the talker in your head, who keeps throwing stress, regrets, worries, anger, resentment, sadness, and all the other distractions at you at the most unwelcome time. As you walk, you can practice this technique too. If the chatter comes flooding back in, that is okay. Start by feeling the sensation of each foot as it touches the ground as you walk. The breeze will be hitting your body a little more now. Just bring your awareness to it. When you concentrate on the present moment, your inner chatter quietens. Every so often, it will pop up and try and grab your attention with a thought. Just let it pass, for it is a distraction and at the moment you are being present. Don't reject it though. Instead, happily allow it to come and go. Do not attach yourself to this thought. As the moment you do, your awareness shifts and you leave the present moment. So, as your awareness is on the sensations from walking, you can guide your awareness anywhere you please. From the sensations of the feelings under your feet, to the feelings of the cold air passing through your hands, you can now draw your attention to what you can see. Be there for a moment or two. Now allow your thoughts to return, and this time you are in control of the thinker. Task it with finding something in the scene that you really like, but instead of distracting you with thoughts, you have given the talker the task of seeking out a great composition. Repeatedly, the talker in your head will go off track. You'll find that you have wandered off into thinking about something involuntarily, but don't be frustrated. This has been happening for as long as you have known language, so this is something to practice. Like photography, it will improve the more you practice. Just use the tool I have given you to bring your awareness back into the present moment. In time and practice, the mind can become still and quiet whenever you need it to be. And this is a tool that goes hand in hand with photography. Now, while out taking pictures, you are practicing mindfulness as an approach to improving your photography. But the truth is, this will have an astounding benefit on your well-being as a whole. Having the ability to quieten your mind doesn't only benefit your ability to find a shot, but it grounds you into the present moment and transforms your whole mindset. Now, the unchecked mind for the first time has been checked and the relationship you have with ego, which is the talker in your mind, is no longer in charge. But you, the real you, the silent witness, the listening part of the mind takes charge. If you like this content and would like to hear more, please do consider subscribing as it really helps the channel out. Until next time, bye for now.